So this is another continuation from the previous question, but it's part B of the similar question. So let's recall the question. It says again that the outer ring part of the plant was removed from the stem, as shown in the diagram, and a week later, the stem became swollen. So part B right now says that, so similar question, but part B right now says that a few weeks later, it was observed that the plant did not die, even though the outer ring of the stem has already been removed. So explain her observation. So in this case, this is about uh, the concepts again. So about water carrying tube and food carrying tube. So since a continuation from the previous question, remember, regardless of whether you are doing multiple choice or open-ended question, you always highlight the key information because that key information will lead us to um, knowing what to write down for the concepts and also it is also a clue for us to answer the following question. So in this case, the key information here tells us that the plant did not die even after a few weeks later, even though the outer ring part of the stem was removed. Now, can you recall, the outer ring part of the stem is, of course, the food carrying tube. So, the food carrying tube involved the outer ring part and the inner part of the tube is the water carrying tube. Since the inner part of the tube has not been removed, meaning to say that the plant can still take in water. Now, I have a picture on the left side, as you can see, that whenever you, whenever there's water that is present, the roots will take in the water and it will be transported up to the other parts of the plant and the leaf will then use the water to make food. Because in order for the leaves to make food, you need to have the presence of sunlight, water and as well as carbon dioxide. So since the inner part of the ring has not been removed, that means the plant can still receive water. But the thing is, a lot of students during this open-ended question, they will not be writing down the keywords such as water current tube. Perhaps they will be just writing, oh, the plant can receive water or the plant can absorb water. Now, this is not accepted because we you do not identify the keyword as such. Marks will actually, you know, be missing. So because of that, we need to learn to identify the keyword. So we all clearly know that the plant can still receive water in order to make food. So as such, over here in this question, we do not need answer with a choice, we do not back evidence, but we can go straight to the concept because the concept is that as the water carrying tube was not removed, clearly it's in the diagram that only the outer ring part was removed. So you know the, the outer ring part is actually the food carrying tube. So since the water carrying tube was not removed, it can transport water to the leaves. That's the reason why the leaves can continue to make food and the plant did not die after a few weeks. So when we take a look at this, it clearly reminds us, similarly, plants require water in order to stay alive and they need water as one of the substance to make food. Same as living things. You know, we can go without food for, well, almost longer, but we cannot go without water because water is actually essential for all living things. So I hope you guys enjoy the open-ended question. As I mentioned here below, one of the important keywords here will be the water carrying tube. So we have come to the last part of our lesson, learning science with Blue Tree. I hope you have enjoyed learning this topic, plant transport system, and knowing the different concepts on how to attempt the multiple choice question and the open-ended question. So before we end off, shall we recap some of the scientific keywords that are important in this topic? So one of the keywords that we are we will, we have been using will be accumulated. So the word accumulated normally we use it for when the food is being accumulated because you have an outer ring that has been removed, so food made by the leaf cannot be transported. And another keyword that is very popular will be the water carrying tube, which is known as xylem. So instead of saying water is absorbed, or rather water is transported through the stem, right now you have to learn the keyword on water carrying tube. And of course, food carrying tube is known as the film. So rather than saying food is being transported at work, we say food carrying tube is the one that actually transports food made by the leaf. And of course, we have food made by the leaf. Now, many of the 
student will forget the keyword food made by the leaf. They simply just write food is transported. Remember, food is always made by the leaf. And of course, we use the word transported. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Plant Transport System and Learning Science together with Blue Tree. And we'll see you 